All right, hi there YouTube, it is me, Morse in America. This video is gonna be either quick or long depending on how you wanna take it, but this is just me showing some very old things that I've done in Oracle. And specifically title and thumbnail should give it away. I'm talking about old type grinding. Now, if you don't want to know about it, then you can just leave right now. Thank you for at least stopping by. But old type grinding is just the old power up method for leveling up your weapons and this was way before global pso2 became a thing this was way back then when japanese pso2 was still going through its era and this was a big thing back in episode one through three so it was roughly around roughly around like 2012 when the game was released all the way up to maybe 2015 2016 uh roughly around that time frame it was before episode 4. When episode 4 came out, things changed and then they just decided to go down an easier route, which is nice, but I kind of wish that if they were going to do something like this, they would have implemented it in the first place. But, you know, there's a giant difference in terms of who was leading it during that time and then the fact that the game was still trying to do this, this, and this. So, yeah. To sum it up, old type grinding is a pain in the butt. And if you guys have not been exposed to it, great. Now, once again, I talked about this on several occasions, but I never showed what it was like. Now, this is a recording in 2020. Um, if you're if you're playing on global, you never had to sort of deal with. I don't think. I think there was only one weapon in global that kind of went back to old type grinding, but most of global PSO2 were stuck in the new type grinding and if you wanted to expose yourself to old type grinding you couldn't do that on global you had to go back to jp now i just realized the video paused itself with uh japanese pso2 you could still do old type grinding now would you want to do it i would say no there's only very rare exceptions and it's in correlation with the uh zig perks the special chimes. If you don't know about that, I already made a separate video about it, but yeah. You don't want to do old type grinding. It is resource heavy. Now you see on the screen that I mentioned the fun shop. The reason why I mentioned the or the fun scratch. <laughs> not fun shop, excuse me. The reason why I mentioned the fun scratch is because they had these items called a grind success rate. Now it's like your new type grind success rate, but these ones are specifically for old types, and they helped a bit. Excuse me, my throat is hurting, so I had to pause there. But yeah, you have these things. Now, there is a new one. Actually, is that new? No, I think that's still the same thing. Actually, no, I think those great grind successes in reference to the new types. I don't remember off the top of my head. But... Pretty much, uh, I was showcasing all the other things that can help. Grind success rates 30%, there's a 50, there's a grind success 100, there's a grind skip. There's also grind risk reduction, and I'll mention what that is in the second half of the uh, recorded stuff. Now, you might be saying, Morph, why aren't you actually doing it in-game? Once again, this thing is ate up so much resources and I did not want to try to do this again like right now but yeah these are the things that you will be using and when I demonstrate what you do this is like the second half of the recording that I had saved in my folder you can see that uh there is a different section for old type in Japanese PS2 global does not have this it's only in JP. Now, you might be saying, okay, that that weapon is at plus 10. That's not, you know, plus 35 like how it is back in Oracle. Note that O-types are a bit different because especially if you want to unlock the potential, you had to do something multiple times and you'll see that in a bit. And I, I kind of mentioned it. Now, the thing is, You'll notice that the potential for that Daisy Chain Sword was at level 3 and it's at plus 10. Technically, 
it is at plus 40. Now, it doesn't make it stronger than what new types are because they're stuck at plus 35 and then these old types are plus 40. No, it's, it's because of the mechanic and method. And the system that they had in place back in Oracle, especially during episode 1 through 3. Now, the reason why it was... Well, the reason why it's not at plus 40 though is because technically you do resets to actually get the potential. You'll see me go through it with this particular recording. This dual, no, not dual saber, these uh, dual blades, I decided to reset the potential. Now, the moment you reset the potential, you see that it is not at plus 10 anymore. It is at zero. Zero. You see the potential got leveled up though, so instead of one, it is now two. But you see, you had to grind it back again to plus 10. And guess what? To get the level potential 3, you would need to reset it. Now, you also notice that the stat for the weapon is not as high anymore because I did that reset. It was originally at 11, uh, 1,158. Now it went back to 600 and... well, 609. And guess what? To get it back up there, and to also get level 3, you would need to push it back to plus 10. Now, you will see that... I will pause here and show you that... It is not... It is different from that of the... New type grinding. New type grinding... It's pretty much straightforward. It does not have any sort of risk whatsoever. And it will not devalue your stuff. As you can see over here, there's a success rate. When you do new type grinding, the success rate is always in the green. When you do old type grinding, it is not. You see that it starts to change the text. It is saying warning and it says risk. risk. Grind minus two. You will see what will happen if you do not do anything. The support items are something you would want to use. Well, anyways, you can see that I'm trying to push it. I'm at plus four, going to plus five. Slowly getting to plus six. You know, trying to go for plus ten. Now, you see that the success rate says danger. You could ignore it and gamble with it, but there is a risk, which is at minus two. So you could put a, some items on it, but I don't think I did... Well, I did put that plus one reduction, but uh, you can see that even with the item, it didn't work. And it's not a guarantee that even if you use some of these items, you'll get that plus to it. And now you can see that here's the thing that made O-type grinding very notorious. To the point where people didn't have like crazy stuff as much. Especially if they were like free to play or didn't play as actively. This thing consumes your Meseta resources and then push your weapon further down. So if you had a certain stat, let's say you were at 883 and you downgrade, now it's stuck at 828. So yeah, this was a thing. This is old type grinding. This is the notorious thing that old players did not want to remember or deal with. And I was kind of cheap at the time too, so I didn't fully max out potentials left and right because it was like, I don't want to deal with this BS. And it's not a foreign mechanic. This is a thing in some MMORPG games, especially some that I played back then. They use this sort of approach this thing is very annoying though if they do said approach so you got to be very careful with how much you're spending and all that because this method if you don't plan everything accordingly and even if you do like if you can't guarantee like a hundred percent of everything working this can backfire on you to the point where you don't have like the highest sort of potential of your weapon just because of rng so, this was O-Type grinding, and I did get this to like plus 10. It took a while though, you could see that the amount of Meseta that I used was, it was 2,400,000, well roughly around. 
But then at the end of the video, it's only at like 2 million. And then I think I pushed it to level 3 as well. No, I, I stopped there. But yeah, it's like, this is O-Type grinding in a nutshell. And this is why I did not want to do any sort of actual recording again with this damn thing. But that's just a bit of history lesson to those who haven't been exposed to it. And once again, I talked about it a bunch, but I never showcased it. So this is that video. I'll have the unedited stuff um, for premium to watch. Or not premium. Members to watch if they are interested in hearing me just complain about it. But yeah, that is it. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below, or if you did play during this time and you had to deal with this sort of system, let me know what your thoughts are and what was your painful moment. I think I, I literally restrained myself to make sure that I didn't go too crazy with it, but anyways, thank you guys for watching. See you guys in the next video. Peace.